saying uh, that you're very satisfied with the response? Well, there's no question. We, we're living with, uh, with a crisis, uh, energy crisis. The, uh, the, the, what I said is that uh, we're not where we were in 98. The uh, transmission line, for example, are all in operation. The strategic assets of Hydro-Quebec are all have been maintained, which is good. In 1998, we had a different issue. So thanks to the investment that was made. As far as what's going on in the urban area, of course, we're dealing with the vegetation control, so we're dealing with trees, so it's difficult to prevent that from happening unless we cut all the trees. Now, where we've got 1,400 people on the ground right now working with to, to address all these issues, and given that we were at the peak of 1.2 million uh, people without service almost, and now more than 45% have been reestablished within like 24, 38 hours, I think that's a good news. Of course, uh, the last uh, to be reconnected you know, could be done, as, as they said, on uh, Sunday or Monday. But I think in the circumstances, I think we need to be satisfied with the. Well, given you know, that what you were talking about with the vegetation issue, do you think that there's been not enough uh, cutting of tree branches? I mean, should we be looking to add people to cut branches? What is the challenge of getting more people to do that work so that these types of things don't happen again? There's two issues. One is the, the amount of money we put into it, and the B is the, uh, the labor issue. On the amount of money we put into vegetation control, Ado Quebec has doubled their investment over the last few years. So this year they spent close to, I think, $125 million. Now, we understand this is more of a rural area. We're not going to cut trees in Montreal, right? It's not, not going to be uh, accepted. Uh, so therefore, and the labor, uh, there's 1,400 people on the ground right now. Even if we had 200 more, at one point, controlling the workflow is very important. We're really now in a surgery of what has to be done. So the number of staff available to deal with the, uh, the issues is sufficient. And people that were outside Montreal are in Montreal right now working on it, and hopefully they're going to be in the West Island very soon. And just for the other gentleman from Hydro-Quebec about the wind, can you please explain how the wind is complicating things and uh, what, what can we expect? Are we going to add more uh, outages? Yeah, so we're not expecting uh, a, a huge number of new outages, maybe a, a minor uh, amount. Uh, and the, uh, why is the some tree branches uh, that uh, got loose from uh, the, the, the freezing rain uh, event that we had on Wednesday with the wind gusts could maybe detach and hit uh, our uh, distribution lines and cause some outages. But should not be uh, too much of a worry, but we're still monitoring the situation. And it's at those level of wind gusts, it's not an issue uh, uh, either for uh, our workers to continue working uh, to restore power. Cubino Duro, CBC News. Um, just like my colleagues at Radio Canada, I want to ask Hydro Quebec and Mr. Fritz Gibbon about uh, the lack of people in Montreal prepared for the ice storm. Is that posing a problem in terms of getting power restored? And what can Hydro Quebec to do to make sure that that doesn't happen in the future? Well, I'll, I'll be very quick because I think to go back and answer that better than I am. But uh, the issue here is that the, we have no, we witnessed over a few years people from Hydro Quebec moving from Montreal to regions. But there are still Ido Quebec employees. And as it relates to the issue we're facing right now, these people have been back in Montreal to operate. So, therefore, whether they live in Blainville or Terrebonne, they can still come and work in Montreal. So, I don't think that's an issue per se. And there's been other people also that have been added to the team. There's 1,400 people working on, uh, on the ground right now, which I think is sufficient. But I'll let uh, my colleague. Well, first of all, I mean, it's not an issue for the situation we have to uh, manage right now. So, I mean, we, when we plan and we see a, a, a situation like we have to, uh, 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 like the one we are in uh, at the moment, I mean, we know the available uh, workforce we have, and we recall those people, and we don't, we didn't have any issue recalling all the people needed to to work on the event at the moment. As uh, uh, the broader question, I mean, I think it's not just uh, a situation we have at Quebec. I mean, it's uh, more difficult to have people uh, attracting attracting people to work. Uh, and on uh, Montreal Island, and for sure, yeah, I won't enter into details, but we have some initiative in place uh, to be able to uh, uh, mitigate that impact and have, the, uh, have more people uh, working uh, in our crews in Montreal.